good evening um, everybody um, we are um, glad to be in the house of prayer one more time um, the Lord has been good to us and we are thankful uh, for all that he has done and all that he is doing in the lives of his people he's been good to us um, better than good uh, no doubt about it. We're um, we had a, a good time in our our prayer meeting um, this evening, um, as we always do, as as we always do, and 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 I'm, I'm, I just thank God for that. I just thank God for that. We have a we have a a, a blessed uh, a blessed prayer meeting both on Wednesday and on um, and on Sunday mornings. We always have a great time. So I'm. Um, I am just grateful uh, for all that God has done um, in and through our lives. A little chilly today, um, but we're on the inside. And, um, and then something was said um, during our, our, our prayer meeting um, this evening, and, um, and it rang so, so very true that um, um, we, 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 we sometimes have a tendency to complain about things and 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 yet God has been so good to us because there are so many um, who have so much less than we have. Um, there are people right now um, that are hungry. There are people right now that are homeless. There are people right now who are cold and yet we are not. Uh, we have food, we, 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 we have shelter, um, and, 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 and we're warm, but yet there are some. So my brothers and, and sisters, we all not, we all not complain. And I, I, I'm, I'm glad it was brought up. I think, um, um, sister Mary brought it up and, and we just all not complain about, about the things that, that we have. When, 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 when God has blessed us so much, we could have so much less, but he's been good to us. Let's go ahead and have a word of prayer, then we'll go ahead and get started with our um, prayer list, and then we'll get into our lesson. Uh, so again, thank you uh, for coming on uh, with us this evening, and let's go ahead and have a word of prayer, then we'll get started. Eternal Father, we come uh, thanking you yet again for another day another blessed opportunity. You have been good to us. Um, you, you got us up this morning and sent us on our way, and now you have us here. And we are praying right now that our hearts and our minds will be open uh, to what you have to say to us, O oh God, individually and collectively, so that we may grow and, and be the people that you are calling for us to be in these days and times so that we can be a light in a dark world, so, so that we can be that salt, oh God, in this world, so that we can be whatever you would have us to be, so that we can tell a dying world about a man named Jesus. Thank you, Father, for, for another day. Thank you for another opportunity. Thank you for all that you've done and all that you are doing. Keep us, Heavenly Father, and please, Father, forgive us for the many sins that we have committed against you. We love you and we praise you. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. All right. Our um, um, prayer list, uh, please keep um, the Gardner family in your prayers. Uh, please um, uh, keep uh, Melissa Rogers in your prayers, Melvin Bowles. Um, Deacon and Mother Lester, Sister Hammonds, um, Deacon Cooper. Deacon Cooper had um, surgery the other day. He is at home now and, and, and resting well. So uh, keep him in your prayer. Joyce um, Arbery, uh, Bertha Wayne, um, Brother Ira Alexander, uh, Mother Jackson, Sister Canley, um, Corliss Christopher, um, the Hayes family, uh, Sister Evelyn um, Phillips, um, and also um, um, know that, um, um, hey, hey, my body, know that um, Deacon Phillips, Deacon Norris Phillips, um, lost his father today. Um, so, so keep 
um, keep brother 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 Norris and and his family in your in your prayers in the loss of his father. Um, amen. 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 All right. To tonight, um, we're going to be talking about um, God's um, God's purpose, His purpose in His in His voice, um, His His purpose in in our lives. Um, let me ask you something real real quick here. Um, what is our purpose um, along this journey? What is our purpose? And, and, and understand, understand, as we ask what is our purpose here, then we must understand that um, our purpose has to be tied in with the will of God. Um, our purpose has to be tied in with the will of God. And we say that because God has kept us here. He has kept us here for a reason. So, so whatever our purpose is on this journey, it must be tied into God's will. Uh, um, you know, just to be honest with you, um, without God's will in our lives, then we lack purpose in our lives. For, for the believer, for the believer, if, 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 if it doesn't tie into God's will, if our purpose doesn't tie into God's will, then something is wrong with the purpose that we have along this journey because it has to tie in to God's will. And then the other question um, that I want to ask you before we get started is what is your purpose in and through the church? What, what, what is your purpose in and through the church? Because as children of God, we need to have a purpose in our lives in the church and outside the church. And, and it has to be related again to God's will has to be related to God's will. Has to, has to, has to, has to. It, it, it has to tie in to God's, to God's will. Our purpose has to tie in to God's will. So we're going we're gonna to talk about um, um, his will and, um, and his voice and how his voice and how the word um, um, explains, can explain our purpose along this journey. And see, sometimes, sometimes we, we can allow other people to dictate our purpose in life. Um, Y'all going to help me with this? Some, sometimes, sometimes we, we allow others to dictate our purpose in life. But, but only the Lord can dictate our purpose. And it, well, uh, let me put it like this. We can try to dictate our purpose but if it's not tied into God's will, it's not going to be much of a purpose. Um, I mean, that's 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 just that's just how it is. Hey, 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 Shirley. Uh, Shirley's my cousin. So 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 let's let, let's let's try to look at this. Let, let, let's try to look at this. And and um, and again, um, we're going to uh, we're not going to go too fast. So but if we do. Please stop me. Please slow me down. Uh, <clears throat> so, so grab, grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. Grab your Bibles. I know, I know you. I know some of you are thinking about um, how, how cold it is outside. Some of you are thinking about um, that it's going to be um, icy. Maybe, maybe a little ice tomorrow. Because um, you know they're saying that we may, we may get a little bit. <clears throat> More up in northeast Arkansas, and um, but they say the temperature supposed to go up a little higher um, tomorrow afternoon, so uh, it may not be here long. And and let me tell you, we're, we're talking about um, it, it's cold here and everything. It's in uh, the low 30s, and and my cousin um, Shirley is is in Wisconsin, um, so 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 we can't we can't complain about being cold 
<laughs> I mean, she can tell you uh, what coal is. Uh, yeah, yeah, she can tell you what coal is. And, and we complain about it, but, but she can tell us a whole lot better uh, about coal uh, than us right at this moment. Uh, amen, amen, amen. So let's let's deal with this. Let, let's deal with this um, this this purpose, this this pers purposeful uh, uh, voice of God. Let, let's let's deal with this a little bit. So let's, um, if we will, let, let's go to Ephesians two and ten. Ephesians two and ten, and we're talking about um, uh, purpose. Uh, the purpose in God's voice, and so we're going to be um, dealing with de dealing with all this. So let's let's go to Ephesians two and ten, uh, and and in Ephesians two and two and ten, it says, "For we are His workmanship." Some of you already know this scripture, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. That's a good scripture to start off with, I believe, when we're talking about our purpose. It says, for we are his workmanship. Now, 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 now the first thing we have to understand is I asked earlier about your purpose, and I said that if it is not entwined with God's will and God's way, then we don't have much of a purpose. Ephesians 2 and 10 lets us know right off hand. He says, we are his workmanship. In other words, God has created us as his workmanship. He, he is the one who did a work in our lives. He is the one who's doing a work in our lives right now. He is the one who continues to work in our lives. Now, we may not always submit to his work, but he is still working in our lives. You see, God is molding us. God is, is chipping at us. God is trying to get us to be the people that he would have us to be. He, he is working on us. And, 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 and maybe some of you can testify that, that God is still working on me. None of us, none of us are, are, are finished being worked on. We've not, we, 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 we are not that righteous. We are not that good. We are not that loving. We are not that caring. We are not that hopeful. We are not that courageous. We are not that helpful. We are none of that. God is still working on me. He's still working on us. He is still trying to get us to be the people that he has called for us to be in these days and times. He is working on us because he is, he is, our, he, he is our God and it says that, that, that we are his workmanship. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Are you willing to be the workmanship of God? In other words, are you willing for God to tweak you? Are you willing for God to bend you? Are you willing for God to mold you? And anytime molding happens, it's not going to be that easy. Are you willing? Are, are, are you, are, are, and see, it ought to be, this, this is what it ought to be. It ought to be that, 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 that we would say, God, work on me. C come on. God, work on me. Because I want to be, I desire to be your workmanship. I, it, it, it doesn't matter uh, how it feels. It doesn't matter how much pain it is. It does not matter how much frustration I got to go through because when, when he starts working on us, it is not going to be peaches and cream. But that's, that's how we get to where God would have us to be. That, that's how we have to get there. If you want to get there. 
You got to say, God, work on me. I, I, I want you to work on me because I want to be all that you would have me to be. And, 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 and the thing is, the thing is, all of us, all of us are on this journey. And we're all on it together. See, we, we can't come to church and think that I'm better than the person sitting next, next to me in, in the pew. We, we, we can't ch come to church thinking that. Because we are all on the journey together. And we ought be strengthening each other. That's why we have this. So that we can strengthen and help each other to grow in Christ Jesus. Don't ever, we talked about this at noon, don't ever think that we are better than, than somebody else. Huh? Just because you got a little more change than they got. Just because you have a better car than they have. Just because you live in a better house than they have. But yet, we are not better than anybody. We are all in the same boat as believers of Jesus Christ. Mm. So no, 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 no. Don't, don't ever think that. Don't ever think that. No, no. Don't ever think that. We are still, he is still working on us. And in each one, in each one of you, each one of us, you, you know that God is still working on you. you. You know that. You know that. You know that. Because sometimes, sometimes you may want to cuss somebody out. Can I get a witness? But you don't do it. Huh? Because God is working on you. You may, you may want to do something real strange to somebody, real bad to somebody, but you don't do it. Because God is working on you. He's working on us. Because we ought to be his workmanship. And if we're going to be his workmanship, then he can stamp his label on us. As, as children of the most high God. Do you have a label on you? Mm, mm, mm. Created, huh? Created in Christ Jesus unto good works, huh? Which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Y'all see that? In, uh, in other words, we are his workmanship, but then he has created in us. In other words, all of us have something in us that will allow us to work and be what God will have us to be, it's already there. It's there before we were born. He ordained it for us. Mm. Now, that, 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 that sometimes that's tough. Sometimes that's tough to understand because we think, sometimes we think, am I worthy? A a am I worthy? Am I worthy to do what God, what I believe God is, is telling me to do? A am I worthy? No, none of us are worthy. Let me tell you, let me tell you that. None of us are worthy. But yet God has still ordained something in us so that we can bless other people. So, so, that other, so that others around us can see his workmanship in us. That's right. We are still a work in progress. Huh? I, 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 don't, I don't care what you do in the church. You are still a work in progress. If you, if you sing good in a choir, you are still a work in progress. If you usher on the door, you are still a work in progress. If you work in the kitchen, you are still a work in progress. If you work with our children, you are still a work in progress. If you're one of our deacons, you are still a work in progress. If you're one of our trustees, you are still a work in progress. If you're one of our preachers, or if you're like me, I am still a work in progress. Yes, yes, Lord, he is still working on me. Yeah, 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 because there, there are some days, there, there are some days, oh, yeah, yeah, but, but he works on me. He's continuing to, to mold me, 
to get me where he would have me to be so that I can be a living testimony to a dying world. Yeah. So that other folk, other folk ought to be, a, they ought to be able to see some God, some God in me. Not, not, and, and hear me now, I ain't talking about the folk at church. I mean, they should too. I, I'm not talking about, I, I am talking about the total stranger. Ought to be able to see some God in me. Ought to be able to see some God in us. The folk at the grocery store ought to be able to see some God in us. The folk wherever you shop ought to be able to see some God in us. Yeah, because we are his workmanship. And if I'm his workmanship, then it ought to be something that is evidence of his workmanship. Yeah, yeah, it ought to be a smile. It ought to be some courage. It ought to be some joy. E even if things are not going good, I still have joy. Can I get a witness? Even if things are going bad, I still have joy. Because my joy is on the inside. It's not happy because happy is based on what's happening around you. But it's a joy that is on the inside of me that God put there. He ordained it just like the scripture says. Yes. That's right, Shirley. I'll be working until I die. I'll never get to where I can say I'm done now. Yeah, I, I got it all now. That will never happen. Yes, I'll be, I'll be working until I go home to be with Jesus. And that's just how it's got to be. We are his workmanship uh, for good works and, 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 and we ordained to it so that we can walk like them. Mm. God have to have before ordained that uh, that we should walk in them, walk in those works, walk in what He's ordained us just to walk in that. What that means, what that means, what that means. I mean, I mean, put that put this way, that 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 God has, God has 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 a wardrobe for you, for us. He has a wardrobe. And, and, and when you wear that wardrobe, huh? Pe people's, people know where that wardrobe came from. Now, now the other wardrobe of the, oh, oh, over here, we picked out ourselves. But that wardrobe, huh? It, it, it's, it's, from, it's from the master. So when you, when you walk in that wardrobe, people know who you are. They, they know, they know just because you're walking in it. Mm. That's right. That's right, Byron. Uh, he has everything for us. Everything. Everything. All we have to do is say, yes, Lord. That's all. And I'm not saying, I'm, I, I, and hear me now, I'm not saying that's easy. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. But it is attainable. The better our relationship with him, the easier that should be. Yeah, the, the, be, the easier that will be. That's all we have to do. So, 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 he, we his, we his workmanship. We are his workmanship. He's working on us. He, he, he is, he, he is working every single day. God is working on us. You, you know, you, 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 ever, you ever thought about that sometimes as we go through life that, that, that you run into a situation and it's a test. And, 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 and you wonder, and, 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 and it's almost as, it's, and you'll be thinking, why did that happen? See, sometimes God, Allow something to happen to test our wardrobe. Are y'all helping me? 
He, he allowed to test our wardrobe, to, te to test where we are. And my brothers and sisters, understand, understand. We have to understand where we are. We, we have to know that I'm not there yet. I, I, I don't care how many scriptures you know by heart. I, it doesn't matter. I, but, but, but we have to know where we are. We have to be willing to look in the mirror. That's something we don't like to do all the time. We, we don't mind looking at other people and acknowledging where they are or what we think they are. But we have to be willing to look in the mirror at our own selves to determine, what, let me see, where I am. Quit worrying about where somebody else is. Quit worrying about what somebody else is wearing in the church. Quit worrying about if somebody is late for church. Quit worrying about that that person may go to sleep at church. Quit worrying about that. Worry about you. Are you talking all through church? Huh? It, 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 while church is going on, is your mind somewhere else? So quit worrying about other folk and worry about where you are on this journey. Mm. Yeah, worry about where you are. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, let's see, let's go to... Uh, Let's go to Psalms 81, the, 80, the 81st number of the Psalms. The 81st number of the Psalms. 81st number of the Psalms. Saw my niece there. 81st number of the Psalms. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. See the plank in our, yeah, in our own eyes. Yeah, amen, 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 amen. Well, let me ask this. Why is it so hard for us to... To see the plank in our own eyes. Why is it so hard for us, like uh, Deacon Roy said, to examine ourselves? Well, why, why is that? Why is it so much easier to examine to examine other people rather than examining ourselves? Why is that so? Why why is that so easy? And and the more we do that, especially in the church, then then we teach our children to do the same thing. And it's wrong. It's wrong. We should not do that. But why is it so easy to examine somebody else? When we, when, we, when we won't look at ourselves first and foremost. Mm. Learn to examine yourself each and every day. Each and every day. Yeah, we think it, yeah, we think we got it all together. We think that. But we don't. And, 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 and like D. John said, we, we, we base on our got it all together, but sometimes we base that on what we have or, or, or how we're doing in life. Then, then, then I have it all together. But, 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 but that's not what you have in Christ Jesus because the stuff doesn't matter to him. I, I mean, it doesn't matter to him. You can have a whole lot of stuff and still not know him. So, so, so you, you got to learn to separate the stuff from the master. You got to learn to separate the stuff from the master because he does not care how much money you got. Huh? Because the scripture says he has a, a, the cattle on a thousand hills. Mm. Mm. Psalms 81. <laughs> Uh, Echolos, Psalms, 81. 81, um, 13 and 14. Let's, let's, let's read those real quick. Um, Psalms, um, the 81st number of the Psalms, verses 13 and 14. Let's deal with this. And, 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 and for those who came in, we're talking about, we're talking about our purpose. We're talking about our purpose in, 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 in God. And we're talking about his voice, um, in our lives. And, and, and how he reigns true in the purpose. Amen? Amen, 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 amen. Okay, 80, 81st number of the Psalms, um, 13 and 14, and it says, Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel 
had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies and turned my hand against their adversaries. Let me, let me read that one more time. It says, Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. If, if, they, if they just had listened to me, if they just had walked the way I, I told them to walk, if they just had heard me, if they had heard me, then I should have soon subdued their enemies. Huh? I, 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 and then I will turn my hand against their adversaries. God is saying, if they had just listened to me, and let me tell you, when the voice of God is speaking to us, too many of us go around with our hands over our ears. Mm -hmm. We got to learn to listen to him. He's talking to us, trying to get us to where he wants us to be, trying to let us know that we are his workmanship. And yet so many times we won't hear nothing that God has to say. Well, let me tell you, let me tell you, the only way you can hear what God has to say is you got to have a relationship with him. I'm not talking about going to church. I ain't talking about just going to Bible study. I'm talking about a relationship. You got to know him for yourself. Yeah, you, you got you to gotta know him for yourself. You got to know that when you were down, he is the one who pulled you out. You got to know that when you were in trouble, he is the one who made a way. You got to know that when things weren't going right, he is the one who turned them around. You got to know that when death comes in your life, God will, will dry away the midnight tears. Can I get a witness? You got to listen to him. Learn. To listen to God. So that's, that's right, Sister Doris. Learn to listen to Him. Listen to Him. But you, but, but you got to develop that relationship before you can listen to Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the the more the, hear me now, hear me now, y'all. The more you develop a relationship with Him, the more you'll hear. The the more you'll hear. Mm, mm. That's right. That's right. That's right, Sean. Sometimes we, we sometimes we want to hear what we want to hear. So, let, 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 let me give you an example of this. Why is it that sometimes when we get in trouble, why do we go to folk for advice who don't even go to church? Why well, I, I mean I mean you 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 are at work and you know them folk don't go to church, but yet you ask them about a spiritual situation. That doesn't even make sense. Why would I ask somebody about 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 a spiritual issue and they don't even know God? Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense at all. If you want to know the Lord and, and, and his advice, listen, because he will speak to you. Now, I didn't, well, let me go down this road. If you want to have a better relationship with the Lord, then, then start spending some better time with the Lord. You, you, you can't give him scraps and give everything else your full attention. See, sometimes we limit God. We, 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 we give God a, 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 a little time on Sunday morning. We, we give God a little time on Wednesday, but, but, but he doesn't stop being God on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. He is still God. So we, we can't limit our time to the Lord. If you, if you want him to, if you want to hear him, if you want to hear how he speaks to you, then spend some time with him. I, I mean, it ain't got to be long. It ain't got to be long. But at least start out. Whenever the best time is for you. Best time for me is in the morning. 
Best time for you may be at noon. Best time for somebody else may, may, may be at, at night. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. You pick the time. Everybody ain't got to go to God in the morning. I mean, that's just, that's, just, that's just some of us. That's just me. Some of you may, may, may have another time that is good with God. That's right. Seven days a week. Tw yeah, that's right. You've got to develop a relationship. And the only way to do that is that you got to learn to pray to him. And, and you ain't got to pray no long, drawn out, 30-minute prayer. You, you, you just say, Lord, help me to understand you better. That's a prayer. God wants you to be personal with him. He wants you to be personal when you're talking to him. He wants you to be personal in your relationship with him. Spend some time. That's all. And 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 just just talk to him. Just talk to him. Huh? Just talk to him. And 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 and, and then read his word. Just, just read it right. And, and I'm not I'm not saying read a whole chapter. I mean, that's up to you. Just read the scripture. And and let me tell let me tell you, bro, my, my brothers and sisters. When you start developing a real relationship with him, you will read a scripture and God and, and that scripture will be just what you needed that day in a certain situation. He'll do that. He, he will do that. He'll do that. He'll do that. And, and so he was saying here that, that, that all I want you to do is listen to me. He is on time, absolutely, Sister Bonnie. Uh, that, he said, that's all I want you to do. He said, your purpose, now, I need, uh, let's get it back to the purpose. Our purpose is to listen to God because when we listen to him, then we know and understand the workmanship that is in us when we start listening. That's what we have to do. But you got, you, you got to listen to him. You, you, can, you, cannot, you cannot put your hands over your ears, over your spiritual ears. You can't do that. Listen to him. When, when, you, when you pray to God for something, listen. And, and, and th let me throw this out there too. When we have a a devotional time with God. Our devotional time does not end after you pray. Let me get let me get an example. Say 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 you're gonna have a devotional time with Him tomorrow morning. So you get up and and, and you read a, a verse uh, a verse of scripture. Could be this verse, this eighty one, and then you pray, and you, you pray for for a couple of minutes, and then you just get up and walk out. Okay. So you did all the talking and you didn't do any listening. See, if God is who we want him to be in our lives, we have to take the time to listen. That's what he says here. So pray, read scripture, and then listen. I mean, don't, don't, don't just shut him down. After you prayed and read the scripture, don't don't shut him don't shut him down. That's right, that's right, Deacon Giles, so that he can give us instructions. Because I mean, you're praying, and then then but then you shut God down because you're done talking, and 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 just because you're done talking doesn't mean God is done is done saying what he needs to say. Learn to listen for God's word. Uh, Sean, all of us have been guilty with that. All of us, all of us, all of us. Learn to listen. And, 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 and always, my brothers and sisters, always keep our mind open, a mind, a spiritual mind open for what God has to say to you through the day. Because he, 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 God wants to talk to you and maneuver you through life. 
But the only way he can do that is 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 he you gotta be listening to him. So he wants you to listen through the day. Amen, 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 amen. All right, all right, all right. Um Joshua. Joshua, 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 Joshua. Uh, and, and, and again, if you have any any questions, any 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 any, any concerns, please stop me. Um, throw them out there. And 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 we will deal with them. Joshua. Uh, one and seven. Joshua one and seven. Uh, good to see you, Sister Deborah. Joshua one and seven. And we are uh, we are we are definitely praying for y'all. Um, praying for you, sister. Sister Deborah, we're praying for y'all. Um, Joshua 1 and 7. A, a familiar passage of scripture. Real familiar. Real familiar. Um, but, but it says something to us. And, and, and as we're dealing with this purpose, um, our purpose and, and, and God's purpose in, in speaking to us, then it says something. Um, listen, listen up. Listen up. Joshua 1 and 7. And it says, only be thou strong and very courageous, and thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Hmm. Hmm. Let me read it one more time. So you, you, grab, you grab hold of this. You grab hold of this. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded thee. Turn not from the right to the left that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. Huh. Uh -huh. Hey, hey, Sister Brenda. Now, 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 now. The thing is, it says, it says, only be thou strong and very courageous. That's what God is telling us to be. He says, be strong and be courageous. Now, to be strong and to be courageous, he relates to that thou mayest observe to do according to the law which Moses gave thee. In other words, for us to be strong, and courageous, we have to be in God's word. We cannot be strong or courageous without God's word. We, can, we, 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 we cannot be strong and courageous without having a relationship with him. That's what it says right here. Be strong. Only be strong, courageous, that thou mayest observe. So you can't observe God's law if you're not in God's law and you can't be strong and courageous on this journey unless you are in his law. You can't unless you, and, and, and when I say law, what I'm meaning is a relationship. That's what I mean, a relationship. We have to have a relationship with him. Then, then we can be strong. We can be courageous the way that God will have us to be. That relates to our purpose. God wants a people that are strong. He wants a people that are not scary. He wants a people that are willing to stand up. And too many times, even in the church, we are not willing to stand on the principles of God. Uh, we we want to go along with whatever anybody says because we don't want to we don't want to we don't rub want to rub them wrong. I don't care about rubbing them wrong. If it's God's word, then that's just the way it is. We want we don't want to make folk think that um, their their lives is, uh, is 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 not right. If you're shacking, it ain't right. I just threw that one out there. 
it does not mean that God doesn't love you because he does. But we have to be willing to be strong and courageous. I mean, we, 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 you know, um, and I, I've talked to our men about this. And um, because it, it, uh, a couple of years ago, they wanted to um, our, um, our our choir. Um, they want to have a um, a, a praise team. And I said, fine, that's fine. That I mean, and I talked to I talked to my church St. Peter about this too. I said, that's fine. I, I have no 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 that that is great. That that is great. But let me tell you something. We gonna still have we gonna still have devotion. So so the praise team is fine. But the praise team was not going to take place of morning devotion. In other words, the praise team can, can, can do what they do, sing a little song, but then the deacons are going to come and give us a scripture, give us a prayer, and, 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 and Dr. Watts, that's what they, they were going to do. That wasn't going to stop. So, so the praise team can do it before them or after them, but devotion was still going to happen. Too often we want to we want we want to come to church and then we want to we want to take prayer out. We want to take reading reading scripture out. We want to tell the preacher that he shouldn't go to Calvary every Sunday. Well, here at St. Peter, we're going to have devotion. We're going to read scripture. We're going to have prayer, and we're going to go to Calvary every Sunday morning. That's what we're going to do. Can't be afraid. That's right. That's right, Bonnie. You, you can't be afraid. And we got too many folk, even in the church, and too many churches who are afraid. They're not courageous, and they're not strong in God's will. Can't do that. Can't do that. You, 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 you can't substitute for praying. You can't substitute for scripture. You can't substitute the gospel. You cannot. You cannot. You, you, you can't do that. You just can't. You just can't. You just can't. You just can't. We can't do that because if we do that, then we stop being the workmanship that God will have us to be. We stop, we stop being that when we start taking things out of God's church. And we, can, and, and we can't do that. We can't do that. And it amazes me. I mean, it amazes me when churches are doing that. It amazes me. Because it don't make any sense at all. If we are God's people, then we got to stand on his word. Not on the newspaper, not on what's, on what, what, what's popular, on God's word. This is what we're going to stand on. The word of God. And it doesn't matter what anybody says. It doesn't matter uh, what they do. We're going to stand right there on scripture. That's just how it is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to stand on Scripture. Because what else, what, can, what else can we stand on if we don't stand on God's Word? There's, there's nothing. Everything else is sinking sand. We got to stand on God's Word. That's, that, and, that's, and, and that's what we have to do as believers in the church. Stop, 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 stop thinking about taking this out to church and that out to church. The church is built on the gospel, prayer, scripture. That's what it's built on. When you start taking that out to church, then you, you stop being the church. When you stop loving people, when you stop caring about people, when you start trying to lift folk up, you stop being the church. And we might as well put a sign out there. Huh? St. St. Peter Community Center. If we're gonna stop doing that at all. Live, that's right. Sister Doris, live by God's word. That's what we have to do. That because we are his workmanship. That's what we are. One more, one more, one more, one more, y'all, then we're gonna then we're gonna get on out of here. One more, one more, one more. I, I've been I've been trying. 
to, to, to keep y'all to 45 minutes. That ain't going to happen. I, I don't guess. I, I'm trying. I'm trying, y'all. So y'all y'all pray for me. Y'all 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 pray for me. Uh, y'all y'all do that for me. All right. All right. Um, let me see. Psalms. Let's go back to Psalms. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Psalms. Um, the 25th number of the Psalms. Let's go, let's go there. Let's go there. 25th number of the Psalms. And we're talking about his purpose, uh, our purpose. Um, in our lives. Let's 25th number of the Psalms. Uh, 25th number of the Psalms, verses uh, 4 and 5. Verses 4 and 5. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Verses 4 and 5. Then we're going to get on out of here. Uh, 25th number of the Psalms, verses 4 and 5. And it says, Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy path. Huh? Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all day. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Deacon, Deacon Giles gave us that during, during our prayer meeting. He, he read the same, same scripture. And, and, and as, 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 as children of God, as his workmanship, as God's workmanship, this is what we ought to be asking. Verse 4 says, show me thy ways. Show, show me how you want me to go. My, it, 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 my, my life, my purpose is based on you showing me where you want me to go. Which way do you want me to go, God? Do you want me to go that way? Do, which way do you want me to go? That's my purpose. To go where God will have me to go. So, but I, but I don't know the way. I, I, I don't have a map. Google ain't going to help me with this. Siri don't help me with this. I need God to show me the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So show me the way. Oh, Lord, teach me. Teach me thy path. Uh, each and every day, I want God to teach me. Each and every day, teach me God. Show me what you want me to do. Tell me how you want me to act. Teach me, oh God. Because, because I want to know the path that you have me to go on. But I don't know it without you. Because my purpose is based on you teaching me. Huh? That, that's what it's based on. It's based on God teaching me. God leading me. Then... Yeah. Mm. He says, lead me in thy truth. Teach me, for thou art God, the God of my salvation. And all, them, all he's saying here is that I need God to lead me. For me to reach my purpose in life, I need God to lead me. For me to be who I need to be in life, I need God to lead me because yeah, if, if he's not leading me, huh? Then I, then I may have tendency to act a fool, but I need God to lead me and to teach me. I, I, I need God to show me the way. I, I need God to, to help me down the pathway because that is my purpose. I understand that now. It, it's not what I want, but it's what he wants. It, it, it's not the way I want to go. It's the way he would have me to go. And that's what he says here. Lead me in thy truth, in thy word. Teach me, for thou art God, the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all day long. In other words, God, I'm going to wait on you. Just take your time. Just, just take your time. I'm not rushing you. Help me to be patient. Help me to learn from you because I want to learn from you because you huh, will teach me your purpose. You, you will teach me because I don't know what my purpose is. Oh, but when I have a relationship with God, he starts to mold me. We've been here before. He starts to, to, to tweak me. He starts to let me know how much he loves me. 
he starts to let me know that I'll get you where I need you to be. So don't worry, son. I got you. He'll teach you his purpose. Because it's his purpose. It's not our purpose. It's his. For kingdom building. To let somebody know about the love of Christ. To let them know that he died one Friday. But early on Sunday, he got up with all power in his hand. The God of my salvation. That's what he's done for me. And so I, I, I want to walk in his purpose. I want him to lead me each and every day. And it may not be pleasant sometimes. It may not be easy sometimes. But yet, hold me, Heavenly Father. Yeah, <laughs> Sister Doris, he will. He'll change the wardrobe. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. He'll, he'll change it. And people will know who we are. Children of the Most High God. Can I get a witness? Mm. He'll do that. 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 Do you want to be in God's purpose? Do you want to be his workmanship? Do you want to be who God can depend on? Amen. 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 Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you so, so very much. Thank you so very much. Um, thank you so very much. Thank you so very much. Thank you. Family, friends, um, our beloved St. Peter. Thank you so very, very much. May God bless you and keep each one of you. Hang in there. Hang in there. Hang in there. Let's have a let's have a word of prayer. Thank you. Thank you. I I I, I, I keep saying that. Um, uh, <laughs> so Doris, Doris. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Oh, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, um, um, th those of you who are in Arkansas, y'all, be careful. Be careful because it's supposed to get sleep tomorrow um, tomorrow morning, late, late tonight, tomorrow morning. So y'all be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Um, if you, if you got to go to work in the morning, please be careful. Please. And, and remember, the next few days going to be real cold. Um, Sister Shirley was kind of laughing at us, y'all. Because uh, she's uh, in Wisconsin and it's seven below right now, and she's laughing at us. <laughs> so, um, so y'all, y'all, y'all let your pipes drip uh, and everything. Um, y'all, y'all stay warm um, and be blessed. Uh, may God bless you and keep each every one of you. Um, again, thank you. Let's have a word of prayer. Eternal Father, um, thank you, thank you for another day, another. Another blessed opportunity. Thank you, O oh God, for these, your people. Please, Heavenly Father, bless them. Bless their families. Keep them, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hold them. O oh God, thank you for what you've done and what you are doing. Um, help us, O oh God, to understand you better. Help us, O oh God, to be the workmanship, your workmanship, so that we can, we can wear that wardrobe to let a die of the world know who we are. Thank you, Father. Lead us and keep us. That is your servant's prayer. We love you and we praise you. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. God keep you. Thank y'all. See you next week. Be blessed. Well, for some of you, we'll see Sunday. Um, 
Y'all take care. <clears throat>